Hi, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Naked and Famous. This one is featured in the Death & Co cocktail book, and it originated from their bar in New York City. This particular cocktail has been on my list for a long time. I, I haven't had the yellow chartreuse to make it. I think I first saw it on Leandro's channel from The Educated Barfly. I'll link to his video up here so you can check him out. If you don't already follow him, make sure you do. Tons of great content and great presentation. Very fastidious about the way he makes his cocktails, which is great to see. So I only just picked up a bottle of uh, Vita Mezcal. Uh, this is a, probably one of the more common Mezcals for mixing with cocktails. Uh, it's kind of fruity and smoky. In the Death & Co cocktail book, uh, for this cocktail they do say you, you need a really punchy, uh, smoky mezcal. So I would have preferred the last one I had, but I'm completely out. But this is going to have to do, and I think it'll still work quite well. So in the book, I quote, it says, uh, this particular cocktail is a bastard love child of a last word and a paper plane. I'll also link to those two videos up here. Uh, Nice and easy recipe to remember. It's equal parts, three quarters of an ounce of each ingredient. Firstly, starting with that mezcal, and it's a shaking cocktail. So straight into the shaker. 22.5 mil, three quarters of an ounce. And I can smell that, that smoke straight away. Followed by the yellow chartreuse, 22.5 mil, three quarters of an ounce, add some herbal notes, then your Aperol, it's gonna make this really nice color to it. 22.5 mils, three quarter of an ounce. It's gonna add bitter notes, um, some sort of grapefruit flavor to it as well. And then last of all, some fresh lime juice. Same again, 22.5 mil or three quarter ounce. Then add ice to your mixing glass and give it a really good shake. Then strain it into your chilled cocktail glass. So I'm using a coupe, otherwise you could use a Nick and Nora. And if you prefer, you could double strain. I'm just pushing my finger down a little bit on the, the strainer, so therefore it's closing the gate, making the, those coils a little bit tighter so there's less ice shards, or in this case, no ice shards that are going through into the finished product. And they have the Naked and Famous. Cheers. So as you can see, the Aperol gives it this really nice peachy kind of color to it. And then you get that smokiness and some herbal notes on the nose. Very citrusy, smoky. This is really, really tasty. So if you do like the last word, if you like the paper plane, this is definitely one for you and worth trying. 